Salem, where Oregon lawmakers passed two bills during the special session to help those still waiting for unemployment benefits. But a third bill was rejected. Lindsay Nadrid spoke to Governor Brown and lawmakers about what's next. It's the middle of August, and unfortunately, thousands are still waiting for unemployment benefits, and these bills were aimed at speeding things up. First, let's start with the two unemployment bills that passed. One increases the amount of money someone can make working part-time before losing their unemployment benefits. The second allows the Department of Revenue to share information with the Employment Department to help verify someone's identity or income level. So instead of having to go extra weeks to verify employment for self-employed and more uh, independent contractors, we will now be able to share that information directly from the Department of Revenue with the Employment Department, and that should speed up the PUA processing. The bill that didn't pass was aimed at getting public and private education employees out of that adjudication process they're stuck in, which would in turn free up staff to work on other claims. I am, again, really frustrated that they didn't pass it. I, I, after all the months of saying we needed to make life easier for the employment department to process claims, I, I just... I'm really frustrated. The employment department has said tens of thousands of claims are waiting to be adjudicated, which can take 12 to 16 weeks. The team at the employment department is working day and night to pay out tens of thousands of unemployment claims during the worst economic uh, downturn in generations. To slow this process down in any way, large or small, is absolutely outrageous. Oregon Senate Republicans said the bill would have prioritized public employees to jump the unemployment line over other Oregonians that have been waiting for help for months. I asked for an interview about this, but never heard back. After the second special session adjourned, Senate Republican leader Fred Gerard released a statement saying it is always a relief when we get to signy die because then I know the supermajority can't do any more damage to the state. Governor Brown was also asked if she would call a third special session. She said all options are on the table, but it really depends if Congress can come up with a funding package. If they don't, she said it will take drastic measures to make up for the $4 billion revenue shortfall. Reporting in Portland, I'm Lindsay Nadrich, Coin 6 News.